Y'all, not J-Lo out here spiraling because her plan to use Ben to cover up her involvement with the diddler fell apart. So in case y'all missed it, J-Lo has officially filed for divorce from Ben and it is a whole mess. However, sources are saying J-Lo ran to file first as a PR move so that she could say she was the one who was done with the relationship. Because she knew that if Ben had filed first, he would have spilled all the nasty, nasty tea about how she tried to use him to wash her image after the Diddy investigation started. But wait, there's more. It turns out that J-Lo was so desperate to get married to Ben because she wanted to protect her image that she didn't even sign a prenup. Now that the marriage has fallen apart, their finances are a mess and Ben might walk away with a fat check. Were y'all shocked when TMZ broke the news that J-Lo had filed for divorce? Because although we all pretty much knew that the marriage was over, we all thought Ben was the one who would file for divorce first. I mean, literally every time they were filmed together in public, Ben always looked like he was just done with the whole circus. Like this one time they appeared to be having a tense exchange, but then quickly tried to act normal when they noticed that people were watching. Jen, can we get a fashion? Turn to your right side. Turn to your right side. Your right side. Right there, guys. Jennifer. Mr. Mr. Affleck, ready? Stand together. Ben, Ben, you might turn. Ben and Jennifer, right up here, please. Jennifer. How are you guys doing? Then there's this one time where Ben was looking super stressed out and even slammed the car door on J Lo during a coffee run in LA. Have a good day. Yeah, you got it. Later that month, Ben and J-Lo were filmed in what appeared to be a heated argument in a car seat at a set of traffic lights in Beverly Hills. J Lo must have started taking the hint that Ben was done with her because she liked an Instagram post about healthy relationships that said, You can't build a relationship with someone who is disconnected from themselves. It got even weirder when she showed up at the Met Gala solo this year, despite being one of the hosts. They tried to pass it off as Ben was too busy working on The Accountant 2, but that didn't fool anyone because just weeks later, they enlisted their $68 million mansion, which was supposed to be their forever home. On top of that, Ben did not show up at J Lo's. Bridgerton themed birthday party and just a few days before that, Jen and Ben celebrated their second wedding anniversary apart. J-Lo marked the day with a bike ride in the Hamptons and Ben clocked into his Los Angeles office like nothing was going on. Through all this, it always seemed like Ben was one step ahead in the I don't give an F war. For example, he recently closed a deal on a $20.5 million home after moving into a rental property while J-Lo was away on vacation. Then he took his kids and his ex-wife, Jennifer Gardner, on a trip to Japan to spend some family time together. This was followed by a family dinner to celebrate his daughter Violet, who was going off to college. Girl, Ben's actions were definitely very loud and they were saying he was over the relationship. There were even rumors that Ben was the one holding back from filing for divorce because he wanted to save J-Lo from the embarrassment of another failed romance. So it was surprising to see that J-Lo was the one who filed for divorce first. In case you missed it, J-Lo filed for divorce on the 20th of August, the second anniversary of their huge and more traditional wedding ceremony in Georgia. Y'all, the details from the court file show that J-Lo wanted to make a statement because there was no reason for her to file the documents by herself. But according to reports, she filed pro per, meaning without an attorney. And get this, Jen listed the date of separation as April 26, 2024. You know what else? That was exactly a month after the raid of Diddy's house and around the same time, J-Lo's name started being mentioned in relation to Diddy. If y'all recall, this was also around the same time that Ben started distancing himself from J-Lo publicly. It would turn out that J-Lo knew all along that once the Diddy investigation started, started, some very disturbing secrets were going to start coming out about her connection to Diddy. There have been rumors that J-Lo helped Diddy cover many of his crimes and that she kept helping him along even after they stopped dating. But wait, it gets way worse. Y'all, whispers have been circulating around that J-Lo was neck deep in the freak off lifestyle and that there are even tapes of her going crazy with Diddy and his fellow freak off industry A-listers. So Suge Knight recently spilled the tea about how the feds have tapes of J-Lo and Diddy and that's what is causing her marital problems with Ben. Wait, puppy's house. 
and they get all these videos of J Lo doing this and J Lo doing that. And they know the fact that J Lo lied and said that the gun was shined or whatever that man just prison destroyed his life and she knew it was tough. I'm quite sure they probably called the, the FBI gave respect and a courtesy call of being after that. It's a white man who got respect in the white world. I'm quite sure they say, we want to show you some things. It's about your wife. And when he see this that her and Puffy were doing and who they were doing it with, I'm quite sure they gave him those tapes. And I'm quite sure he can never look at her the same. I'm quite sure they had for divorce. Because, <laughs> you know, that's a man who had a good life. Great parents, don't spend a lot of money, ain't tripping off top of Rossi, he's living his life. He got his, he got his own team. She didn't bring all the extra shit to that motherfucker. He won out. He keep, he stayed married to the channel, he'd be broke. Instead of just doing movies, he'd be doing Yum Yum Donuts commercials. Next thing he'd be doing is Jack in the Box commercials. According to him, he had tapes of J-Lo getting freaky with a former boyfriend back in 2001. He wanted to sell the tapes to the media back then, but it would have been so damaging that J-Lo went to court to stop him from releasing them. However, Suge Knight's lawyer later revealed that Suge didn't have the tape to begin with and J-Lo dropped the case. But the thing is, even though Suge told the court the tape didn't exist, it's believed that he actually had them because back in 2017, Irv Gotti said he confronted Suge about it and begged him not to release it. According to Irv, Suge did as he asked and didn't release the tape as a favor to him. But even though Suge made sure the tapes never saw the light of day, J-Lo was still at risk of having some scandalous tape of her getting released to the public because she somehow ends up in very interesting situations. Like that time when she got wrapped up in a scandal after her first husband, Ohani Noah, allegedly tried to release a whole movie featuring raw footage of J-Lo in compromising situations. Ohani Noah's former business partner, Ed Meyer, first broke the news when he revealed that Ohani wanted to release very intimate home video footage taken during the couple's brief marriage. He said, we are going to produce a DVD and also have a streaming release of the J-Lo home video footage. There is revealing video of her with a lack of clothing and in explicit situations, especially in the hotel footage from the honeymoon. This video footage was apparently supposed to be titled How I Married Jennifer Lopez, the J-Lo and Ohani Noah story. And it was supposed to contain over 11 hours of unseen footage from their marriage, including footage of J-Lo arguing with her mom about her gambling habits. There's also the fact that there have been rumors that part of the footage the FBI got from the Diddy home raid contained J-Lo in different freak-offs, which Ben somehow got a hold of. As if that wasn't bad enough, the FBI also decided to reopen the 1999 New York club shooting and really investigate J-Lo's role in the whole thing. Reports from the incident say Diddy, J-Lo, and other bad boy crew members were at a club in Times Square, Manhattan, New York to celebrate the upcoming release of new bad boy artist Shine's album. While they were leaving, Diddy accidentally bumped into another person, a man named Matthew Allen, whose street name was Scar. Scar pushed Diddy, and the next thing you know, shots started flying, resulting in multiple people getting hit. One of them was Natanya Rubin, and she confirmed that J-Lo was the one who smuggled the gun into the club and handed it to Diddy before they fled the scene. The irony is, there was a grand jury, uh, we, had to, we all had to go and speak at the grand jury. J-Lo testified at the grand jury, as did many other people. It needs to be reopened, because if that is in fact the case, she carried the gun in and she lied to the grand jury. It needs to be reopened. My shooting. I Shine ended up taking the fall for the incident, but according to insiders, this only happened because Diddy paid people to implicate him and J Lo lied to the grand jury. If any of this is true, can you even blame Ben Affleck for wanting nothing to do with J Lo once he found out the truth? It's even worse because apparently J Lo tried really hard to conceal the truth from Ben, including the fact that she's still helping Diddy. Wait, y'all didn't find it weird that Jennifer was finally getting married to the love of her life and she somehow decided to do a shotgun wedding? Well, word on the street is that J-Lo needed to tie the knot with Ben before he could clock that she was trying to use him for PR. Apparently, that's also why she refused to sign a prenup with Ben. TMZ reported that J-Lo does not say in her documents whether there's a prenup and sources with knowledge tell TMZ that there is indeed no prenuptial agreement. Child, this is wild because J-Lo and Ben are not kids and they've both been married before. A prenup seems like the most obvious thing, especially for J-Lo because her net worth is $450 million and Ben is worth a modest $150 million. 
man. So without that prenup, Ben could very well be walking away with a fat settlement after the divorce is finalized. Even though, according to the docs, Jennifer waived spousal support and is asking the judge to deny Ben such support as well. Right now, sources are saying that things are so bad between them that they're not even speaking to each other. And this is slowing down the divorce proceedings because they have so many joint assets and projects together. However, it looks like Ben is ready to jump out of that sinking ship as fast as possible, even though J-Lo still wants to work things out. A source revealed recently that she's very disappointed and sad, but Ben hasn't given her signs that he wants to continue their marriage. He wasn't shown any commitment and interest in making their marriage work. It's gotten to the point that she just needs to look out for herself. Or maybe she's just sad that her plan to use Ben's image and the whole innocent romance thing to cover her secrets didn't work out. But what do we know? Do y'all think J-Lo is gonna try and patch things up with Ben before her connection to Diddy gets exposed by the FBI? Or is Ben a for done for real this time. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and check out this next video.